the one thing that did not shock me and the one team that stood out to me as the team that once again is going to be right there with the Buffalo Bills is going to be their biggest test as far as getting to the Super Bowl once again, it is the Kansas City Chiefs. There are plenty of people out there who looked at the Chiefs as soon as they moved off from Tyreek Hill and said, oh, they're not going to be the same. Forget it. Mahomes was built on Tyreek Hill's ability to get down the field. He's bailed that offense out on numerous occasions, allows for an explosive offense that just can't be recreated without him. And I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This offense under Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, it's one of the best we've ever seen. There is no reason to believe losing Tyreek Hill is going to stunt that offense at all. Are they going to be as explosive? Perhaps not. There's nobody as explosive as Tyreek Hill in the league. And even yesterday with the Miami Dolphins, we saw what Tyreek Hill can bring to a team. That Miami Dolphins team is much, much better with Tyreek Hill. He bailed to a Tonga Bailoa out of a handful of throws that would not have been completed to anybody else. In my opinion yesterday, and you can say whatever you want, those watching this who aren't a Bills fan, you can, you can say whatever you want about Tua yesterday. He played fine. There was nothing about Tua's play yesterday that was impressive. There was nothing about Tua's play yesterday that made you feel any better about him moving forward, at least in my opinion. But that addition of Tyreek Hill is going to be a major factor for the Miami Dolphins we saw yesterday. But the absence of Tyreek Hill for the Kansas City Chiefs, in my opinion, it's not going to be as big a factor as people made it out to be. They ran the scoreboard up yesterday against an Arizona Cardinals team that, look at, when you look at the NFC, they're right there. Might not have looked like it yesterday, but when you look at the landscape of the NFC, the Arizona Cardinals are going to be in the mix all season long, and the Chiefs made them look like a peewee team. They sort of made them look like the Bills made the Rams look. And then you get to thinking, well, let's take a look at the similarities. Both quarterbacks pop off. Both offenses pop off. Defense plays extraordinary. And then you realize the Chiefs are still the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is still Patrick Mahomes. In this rivalry, this new, unbelievable rivalry that has formed between the Bills and the Chiefs over the last handful of seasons is going to be just as electrifying this season as ever. And I know it's just week one, and that, of course, is why we talk about these things today, because there's no better day than the Monday after week one, because that is where the overreactions hit their peak. Thing is here, I don't know if I'm overreacting at all. You take a look at the sample size yesterday, and of course things are going to change. The Colts aren't going to be as bad as they were yesterday, you'd think. The Titans aren't going to be as bad as they were yesterday, you'd think. The Bengals aren't going to turn the ball over five times and get sacked seven times every week, you'd think. What I do think is the Chiefs are going to be as good as they were yesterday every week. The absence of Tyreek Hill really gave people false hope that they were no longer going to be a juggernaut. They're totally going to be a juggernaut. Now, nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be scared of. I'll take the Bills over them any day of the week right now. But if you want to talk about lining up a team... 1A, 1B, when it comes to the AFC, when it comes to making the Super Bowl, when it comes to even the NFL in its entirety, were there any two better teams this entire past weekend than the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs? And that is what we, we have come accustomed to in this league. It is the Bills and the Chiefs out of the AFC.